And finally, we are back. It's the Live Podcast with myself, Bella, and of course, Victorine, my twinny. Yay. We may not look alike, but yeah, we're twins <laughs> like that. Didn't you see, guys? Didn't you see our little intro with like, you see the dark skin lady and then the no. fair? I think, it? I think the next one we should be having mimosas and stuff, you know, just you being all bougie. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, especially because she's also very bougie and she makes some of the yes. clothes. <laughs> and she loves <laughs> colors. We Ooh. love colors. I love that about her. Yeah. Yes. So let's make welcome drum rolls. You want to announce? Yeah, announce? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you see what I'm wearing? You see? <laughs> <laughs> this is Sandy Ozu. Welcome to the Live Hi, Podcast. Hi, ladies. Hello. How are you guys We're doing? We're so glad to finally have I you. I know. I've been counting down the days, so I I'm know. excited to be here with yeah, you guys today. Yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> and she's yeah. rocking her colors. Yes. Tell I us, tell colors. us about the outfit. I love colors, so anything it. colorful and bright and sunshiny is me. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. You and I work a lot with Batik because, mm -hmm. I mean, since... This is Batik? Um, yeah, this is Batik. Yeah. So since I started, I've been working with Batik because I also wanted to promote our textiles. Right. Mm -hmm. And not just um, the regular, mm -hmm. everyday, um, yeah. what's it called? Ankara. Ankara that yeah. we wear. I wanted something that is homegrown. Mm -hmm. We make ourselves mm -hmm. and everything. Because, mm -hmm. you know, half of these Ankaras do not come from. True. Exactly. Do so. you think it's actually made here? Yeah. Well, I think well, GTP, few, it, GTP, yeah, we have GTP, yes, and then but I think yes. eighty percent, but yeah, comes from are flown in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's, that's the whole concept behind yeah. also using the batik. Sandy is the <laughs> owner and 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 creative director yes. of Talency, mm -hmm. which is one of the biggest fashion houses in in Ghana Thank you. and in the world. <laughs> and so yeah, uh, tell us about Talency. How, how did you start it? Hmm. It's a long story, but... <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. So the first time I heard her brand, I mean the previous name, I thought it was an eatery or something. Yeah. Because she made food. <laughs> Let's see, right? No, because it was oh. called Diva Delicious. Before. No. Yeah. So I always wow. thought it was food. <laughs> so how long ago? How, how did, uh, when did you... Ooh, okay, so unofficially 2008, Eight. officially 2010. Okay, um, okay. It basically started as a means to an end, you know, right. because I had just gotten into uni mm -hmm. and um, my dad's um, bank had been liquidated. Wow. So basically it was like, okay, how are we going to go through this? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. times became tough yeah. and, then, and I was always passionate about um, textiles. textiles and even like making things. I was very art and crafty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, something that drew my attention was um, the weaving process. Mm -hmm. Wow! So I and was, you did not study that. I didn't study that. I wow. was in I was in nursing school. So wow. I started when I was Nothing in nursing to do school. It. <laughs> <laughs> I started when I was in nursing school, okay. and I was very intrigued by weaving. Mm -hmm. And so I decided, okay, let me just do these bags, and then so it started with you know doing it for friends and family. Everybody wow. would be like, oh, this is nice, this and this. I was like, hmm, okay, let me actually yeah, think something. about making mm -hmm. money out of this. So mm -hmm. Diva Delicious was just something that came up. Even the name. I didn't even think about it. I think I just, I just uh, dreamt and I heard the was Diva Delicious. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> Diva Delicious. You it know? was a start. So, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, um, but as the brand grew, mm -hmm. um, my clients grew with grew it. With and it. then I had too much of the, is it an eatery? Is it a, a Oh, so I'm not the only one. No, you're not the only one. Oh. <laughs> But then before I changed the name, I changed the name, I, I rebranded during COVID. Mm -hmm. And before that, I had been thinking about what to um, name it, you yeah. know. And I remember everybody would be like, oh, you have to think deep. And, yeah. and I'm not a deep thinker. I'm one of them. I'm very free-spirited. Yeah, I'm not Wusa Namaste. <laughs> so, I'm not. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So, but during COVID, mm -hmm. I think we all had uh, a minute to step back. Yeah. And actually reflect. Mm -hmm. So I was going through my Facebook because when I started, Facebook was the social media yeah. then. So I was going, scrolled all down, all the way down to 2008, and you know just the quality and what it is now mm -hmm. from then. And I was, and I remember the funny story is when I started with the bags, mm -hmm. I used to weave, have them woven in Accra. Mm -hmm. But then I researched and I was like, oh, okay, it's from Bulga, so I have to go to the source. Mm -hmm. So on the way to Bulga, we got lost in a town. <laughs> and the town was called Talensi. Oh, exactly. Oh, so it's a town in the cool. northern part of Ghana. Okay. So we realized that we were lost, but then it was late. So we decided, okay, let's just stay overnight and then continue our journey the next day. So we spent the night in Talensi. Yeah. Where did you sleep? 
it was a, a guest house. Oh, they, they had, okay. And I remember, oh my God, I woke up in the morning. I remember I woke up in the morning and there was like a lizard and then, then I was oh, freaking gosh. out. But then, I mean, it was quite the experience. So, I mean, all those memories kept flooding back. Yeah. And then um, I think that I realized that for me, mm. co uh, co during COVID was my talency moment. Yeah. Mm. Because it was, we were on a journey, mm -hmm. but we had to stop relax, mm. refurbish, regroup happened. and everything, oh, wow. and then it's continue. So I guess I'm deep after all. You said it's a funny story, but it's... It's actually yeah. 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 yeah, it makes yeah. a lot of sense. Yeah. So, yeah, so when I woke up, I was like, oh, I got it. I'm gonna, it's going to be talency and everything, and, and fast forward. And, it's nice. and I've been it's trying nice. to upload that story. I think when I, so when I rebranded and I went through the whole, we are rebranding, we're no mm. longer deep at the truth. I tried uploading the story for so long, and I th it just mm. never loaded. Mm. And I think that t time kind of passed, but then every time people come to the store and they're like, we know you as Diva Delicious, so how did it change? So I think I should re yes. record it again and then put it up there just so that people know. It actually makes why. sense. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so what's your tagline, by the way? Do you have a tagline? Uh, dare to be different. Dare to be different. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's actually between dare to, to be different and the woman you dare to be, but I'm not sure how mm. to. Yeah. So, yeah. That is I guess there's a little nuance. There is. There the is. The woman you dare to be mm -hmm. doesn't mean you're going to be that woman. Mm -hmm. That woman. Mm -hmm. But then when you are already, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. you, you, mm -hmm. are, you dare things, yeah. it's different. That's, you're already in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because when I started with, um, when, I, when I started with Diva Delicia, there was a quote that I saw that I loved. It said, why are you trying so hard to fit in when you are born to stand out? So yeah. I think me, for me, my whole life has been about standing out or yeah. doing, you know, because I, I never fit the, for, I never for fit you, the status yeah. quo. I yeah. just never yeah. did. I was always either the tallest, but now that I've grown, I realize that I'm that not so tall. <laughs> <laughs> because in school, I was always like it's the tallest. people were tall, tall yet. I don't think like you. So, to Bella. <laughs> Am I not taller than you? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? I'm taller than him. I was like so, the yeah. tallest or the slimmest or mm -hmm. something. It was always yeah. something. So then I just built myself around the fact that instead of it dimming my shine, I was yeah. like, okay, I'm it's different. your way you know, to shine. I, yeah, this is just how I am. So I think wow. that's just what I have I'm an idea. You're going to have to pay me for it. <laughs> Please, she has ID. <laughs> this is what she's talking about Talenti and how, you know, that was her Talenti yeah. moment during yeah. COVID. I was just thinking the journey to becoming oh that's a good one that I know. is a good one so that comes with yeah. that comes with 10 clothes every month thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> But I, I like yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about the journey, right? Exactly. It's all yeah. about the journey. It tells the and it has been quite well. the journey. Even um, yeah. starting with the bags, um, I had a friend also who was in the advertisement um, agency. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times when they do, did shoots or even Lydia, Lydia mm -hmm. did a movie and she needed a stylist mm -hmm. and everything. So mm -hmm. I was like, and this is me in uni. I needed mm -hmm. to hustle and get yeah. some money. So I was like, okay, I can style. You know, I know style, no fashion, this and this. <laughs> so then I would, a lot of times, um, just make the outfits mm -hmm. and then have people sew it. Yeah. And that's just how it started. I was like, okay, mm. well, let me just add that to the bags so that it's like a so full look. They come first, to the then bags the first, and then the clothes came, and then yeah. it's, it just evolved from I there. Mean, it's, it took its, its beautiful. own time. Look what your issues were. But what, what happened to the bags? Did you stop making them? I, I did. I put it on hold for a bit, oh. but I am going back into it. Because yeah. women bags are very. Yeah. Especially with the kind in. of designs you create exactly. as well. You go something like this. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, so yeah, yeah. yeah. Ali, Mauritius. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because listen, it's hot. It's but you hot. just came back from the holiday. See, that's the thing. When you come back from holiday, you need you a holiday back. from the holiday. You you oh. wanna go back? Okay. Isn't it true? So we're going to Mauritius. No, no. <laughs> With our diva delicious. <laughs> 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 Oh my God! Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So that has been our journey the past well since twenty two thousand eight to yes. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So Talenti happened. So you changed the name to Talenti when 2020. in twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. How are people related to the brand since the? You know what? I thought it would be so difficult because they. You know, you always hear rebranding can make or break you. Yeah, you yeah. know, so I was so was scared. So you know, you. it was so scary. But then during that season, I was also moving to a new space. Mm. 
and I was like, okay, you know what? It's, it's do or die, you know, you know. And I couldn't think. I could. I. I had to see the glass half full, yeah. you know. So even though people would say that, oh, you have to figure out how to launch it, this and this, and this is COVID. Like mm -hmm. people were not thinking about clothes; we're thinking about how they're gonna survive. Yeah, so exactly. you know, I wasn't trying to, you know, to wash it. Yeah. So I just wanted a subtle way mm -hmm. of doing that. So I, I of course, I used uh, social media, and then I just in a subtle manner yeah. so people would say oh why why did you change and then i would say the story mm -hmm. but and i also say that you know i mean diva delicious it kind of wasn't you know yeah. so grown up you yeah. know because exactly. we are also growing my clients are growing so that was so i think people received it very well mm -hmm. now people are stopped before they will still come to the shop and say mm -hmm. diva, diva delicious. delicious but now they stop no, everybody's talented, talented. Well, so it means that uh, you I know think, transition yeah. has been smooth exactly yeah. so yeah. it was a good i mean i'm, I'm so grateful yeah. to god <laughs> yeah okay. yeah but has your style changed i know you're talking about the fact that once you wanted to rebrand mm -hmm. that also came with changing mm -hmm. a lot of things mm -hmm. when you look at your designs mm -hmm. from 2008 right. of course mm -hmm. there's no. been some growth yeah. but what has changed about your designs now yeah. Um, I think that because when I started, everything was very young and, mm. you know, um, and I still want to keep it young and fresh. Right. But I also understand that my client base, my core people that I started with have grown and they've evolved. So I kind of want to uh, balance between the two yeah. so that you're not so matured and everything because, the, you know, the, you want to appeal to everybody to, to, uh, yeah. yeah yeah so i try to keep it still fresh because mm -hmm. like i said i'm a free spirit yeah. so everything i do I, you know let's just nip tack here make yeah. it look here so that everybody can um relate to something so what, what when do. we put it out yeah so who's your your talency woman i think well hmm, what's what's it's... their persona what what do they look like you know what's the the talency woman i would say is a very um, a very independent woman who knows what she wants okay. but she's also the girl next door you right, know right. so even though she's boss chick mm -hmm. one day the yeah. next day she can just she can lay transform. It and transform yeah. it then so it's a woman that's very relatable mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and but then she has her stuff together yeah, you know yeah. so that's the woman that's the woman that i see that come in the shop true. every day Lovely. you know so and i love to see that i when i'm in the store and i, they, I see them come in mm -hmm. it inspires me of course. you know because they also pick up the clothes oh do you think we could do this and then they share their feedback and mm. so i think it's very it's interesting it and is. yeah really i've is. loved the journey so far <laughs> yeah. and what would you say is has been your biggest challenge you know, I think this is everybody's biggest challenge in Ghana, I think. But for me, it's um, just the people you working working with. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. there are some core people that along the line I have trained, and then they are yeah. good. Mm -hmm. But oh my hmm. gosh. can we talk about those stories? It's a yeah. struggle. I think that people <sighs> want to say people all the time want to come across like we have a strong team and everything. and I would love to say I have a strong team I do have a strong core team right. but that they can't do everything else yes, yes. you want to be able to delegate other people to do other things Would and you? then you will do it and then you know the disappointments come in and it's just it's and I wanted the brand also I wanted the backbone of the, of the brand to be a community based thing mm. so before we used to do our, our dying in-house and everything but now I decided that okay uh, we can't do it all, mm -hmm. you know, because it's not the little brand that it was now. Now we've grown mm -hmm. online, we've grown. Yeah. So um, we have to be able to um, what's the call? Fast. Yeah, respond fast and then um, get orders in fast. So I decided, okay, let me build a community of people. So I have people mm -hmm. who do the dyeing, I have the people nice. that sew, I have the people. So I just want it to be like one big family, but. Hmm. The, and the, a big, the big family, family. The big family. Yeah. Even, you Not see, I mean, even like as little as three, four people, you start seeing some cracks. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. so and it's difficult. I don't know if it's the mentality. It's just difficult. It's because across when, the board. Everywhere. Yeah. I think it's everywhere. So it, you have to be ten toes down all the time. Yeah. So uh, there was a meme I saw that if you are um, a business owner here, you are this, you are that. You are that. And it's, so, it is, it's very true. It's true. Because if I tell you how many times like who have been burned by and everything so i have trust issues oh i have trust issues, so I have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> but a good thing for work is, only you mean or for, generally I, no for work okay are you sure uh, you generally? see, see the, the, 
she I was she posts. She posts. Well, 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 I so think <laughs> <laughs> I think majority of the time is for work. Mm -hmm. because it's just so you just deal with it so much mm -hmm. like um, recently um, just last week my friend had her kitchen made mm -hmm. and I loved it and I said oh I need the guy's number because he did a beautiful job yeah. she's like listen the way the guy has stressed me but you know what my reply to her was mm -hmm. I've gotten so used to it so you know so but I shouldn't, it, it shouldn't, shouldn't exactly be used that's to the problem it. but even in my mm -hmm. like I've gotten used to it so it's like like you can be tell you, know, you get them and they tell you yeah. the world, oh yeah. this and this, and then they come in. And I, sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who goes through it. So I actually speak no, yeah. to people because when people Everybody speak about it, about it yeah. they make it seem like you know we got. And you see that That's online, why it's but to talk about it, you know, so that you don't feel like you are bizarre, you are yeah. the only. Yeah. If, yeah. if people were talking more yeah. about mm -hmm. it, you wouldn't feel. I that. mean, I spoke to a lot of my. Um, friends in Nigeria who mm -hmm. um, also do, do uh, fashion mm -hmm. and a lot of them are now producing in Turkey Ooh, yeah a lot of yeah because a lot of them with already it. it's because it's no it's ridiculous mm -hmm. going through I there's some that have actually shipped in uh, is it from was it are they from Philippines or something just to come to in. make the clothes I guess if it gives you because you <laughs> <laughs> what listen <laughs> what no, yeah. That's how bad it is. It's crazy to work with people. I mean, if you get a good it's team, true. you're people good. Are the you know, yeah. I mean, I think that in my whole team, there are some people that I can rely on yeah. to get it right. And even in that, getting it right, sometimes they will, I'm like, you guys cannot be making these mistakes at this point in the game, you know. So I have to also micromanage every That's the thing. single thing. I was gonna ask that. How do you keep them encouraged? How do you keep them united? you know and focus on the the dream the yeah dream. i think um for i'm i think also my issue is maybe i'm too nice sometimes it, but it is an issue um, i have the same issue i'm trying very hard to work on it because nice. i've realized that here you don't want to be nice well because people take advantage of it yeah they do so they think that you are they take your lead you know in french yeah. they say trop bon trop con mm -hmm. like too nice, nice. too dumb you know, mm -hmm. they look at it that way, like, yeah. oh, she's, you know. But, I mean, for, like, the people that I know that they've got it, they've got our back and everything, we've been very, um, we teach them, you know, so I take them through trainings, mm -hmm. um, they know I have their back, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, like, we, I get, when you, when you see me in the workshop, everybody's like, hey, yeah. hey, 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 but there are days where I have to put it down and say that. So, I think your question was, how, how do you I, keep them encouraged? I think that I have to, I, I'm also building their craft. I'm not saying you're not just doing this for me. You also yeah, have to yeah, do it for, for yourself you. because you have to understand that if I'm taking you through all the trainings and everything, you also have to build your um, um, workmanship, mm -hmm. your, so, you know, you, you can just, you can only talk to them, you know, and keep motivating them and everything, but the rest mm -hmm. is really up to them eventually you know, one of the things i've been going through is like grooming people training them mm -hmm. for so long mm -hmm. you have you put so much trust in them and yeah. then they leave yeah. exactly yeah. so you it's hard i mean and we are human yeah, beings we understand the growth mm -hmm. and all of that mm -hmm. but it hurts yeah it does it does you know? no 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 it really really does i had a, a breakup with one of my really good it friends. hurts i'm telling and you uh, uh, really people talk about breakup in relationships and or maybe break up in friendships, but yeah. they don't talk but about break up in business. Is mm. And this is somebody that I took to every training. I did the most for because I yeah. thought that, you know, but then they come back at you. And then, you know, I had a conversation with a friend of mine last week and she said the same thing. She's like, this, this person I took to China, I took to here, and this is what they did and to me. And then they just... Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, you have to also think about the possibility hmm. because they could, it's a possibility, you know. Yeah. People are people and they... Even family does that to you sometimes. But, but so it doesn't I guess. mean you shouldn't help people and trust people it's around really, you, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. you should just do it. That's how you are. You know, that's what you feel. Just do it. Mm -hmm. But how just do you know do you're it. doing too much? And how do you know when to stop? Th that's that's the, the thing. thing. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, so you never know till you're burned. Yeah. Basically. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I drink. <laughs> that's tough. Basically, Basically. yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I it's, mean, the industry is growing. Yeah. And it's doing well, and we're talking about it and everything. Mm -hmm. But the behind the scenes is just. So, how is it like in Ghana? Like, are you guys united? You know, like united for all the fashion designers? I, I really. Um, well, before, not so much. Now, I think that, it's, it's I mean, there's still work to be done. If I compare us to Nigeria, I feel mm. like they collaborate and they are together. They 
I don't know the nitty gritty because I don't, I'm not in the core of yeah. it. But then from hindsight, that's mm -hmm. what it looks like. Yeah. I don't see it so much done here, mm. um, which I've had my fair, um, fair personal share. experiences. Yeah. So I just keep myself in my bubble, you know. When you say experience, is it because maybe, you know, one person was worried about one ceiling designs or does that happen as well? That, that happens why? a lot. But then I always say that, and I used to complain about that because it happened to me when mm -hmm. I started with my, even with the bags, mm -hmm. I started with the, um, you had oh, a shape. I had a shape. And then there was somebody else came in and started doing the same shape, yeah. same everything. So I remember, mm. uh, one time a client even called me, I bought the bag and it's she just, it, it yeah, the, the, yeah, she thought it was myself. I was like, can I see it? And then she showed it to me. I'm like, oh, sorry, this is not mine. This yeah, is the, wow. yeah, but it was the same. She had, it's just that the quality and the finishing and it's everything was different. Yeah. So the, the, the dye wrapped in her outfit and then some long thing. So you get that and it happens. But and the that's thing, someone who knows you who told you about it. So imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but the thing is with fashion is, fashion is very, it's like a cycle, you yeah, know, it yeah. recycles yeah. all the time. And I always say that nobody is copying. And the people who say they are copying, sometimes, honestly, I sit on Pinterest and I go through and I see everything yeah, that you everybody. Get inspired. Yeah, so I think people are inspired. I used to also say that people are copying me, this yeah. and this. But then I grew out of it. I'm mm. like, no, people are really inspired. Now, let me tell you, some people actually will copy you, Dito. Exactly. Dito, you but know, they're not being smart about yeah. it. Yeah. But I say that when. Capri pants or pencil skirts mm -hmm. or whatever comes. Everybody is doing busy. pencil skirt, but the way this person will do it and mm -hmm. have their touch is different it's from different. this person yeah. having yeah. their touch. When I came up with this with the, skirt, have you had people try? Yeah, I've seen people online copy it I and everything. This yeah, I have seen people online else. copying it. The guy that does it, hey, madam, people come all the time. They show me your picture. I should oh. do this. So they, yeah, the people and. <laughs> but what do you do about it? I mean, do you have to copyright? Yeah, how do you protect yourself? Yeah. Um, on, that's also another issue. I remember when we were in Egypt last year, we did a KNEX. Um, mm. And one thing that we were talking about is uh, property rights yes. when it comes to... But it's very difficult because, one, I, you can't uh, patent ideas. Mm. You can't? Two, no. It's an oh. idea, so they say you can't. So you patent two, only the, the actual, like you can patent this. Just that, yeah. The, you, the, the circle. But then to go through that patent and the, the, the things you have to go through. The, and also, I think there was a thing, sorry, it's a legal term. I forgot, I'll come back to you on it. But mm -hmm. it's, it was just something that was difficult. So there, there was something they were fighting. They were like, we have to mm -hmm. fight for. But then you go to all these conferences and that's all they talk about. Yeah. There's, you no know, there's no it's reaction. There's no reaction. It's a lot of stuff, but you know, yes. So like and you get tired. And those lawyers are like expensive. The yeah. IP yeah. lawyers. Yeah. Very expensive. Property. Very, very, very <laughs> expensive. So that is one thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's not easy. But we talk about the same things. We talk about trade. We talk about how trade in Africa, but it's like I hear the same things over and over again. Easy. But is it actually hmm. being implemented? Yeah. That's the question. That's another thing. That's exactly. the biggest thing in Africa. Because I think we talked about even um, working within Africa. Because there were, when I went to Egypt, I wanted. To, I was like, oh my God, Egyptian linen. I want to yeah. get some this yeah. and this. But the cost of getting that linen from there, from to, there here, to here, yeah, yeah. it was yeah, it was more expensive than See? even shipping something from China. What? Yeah. yeah. Within Africa, it's more expensive. Mm. Within Africa, so it's not only really about travel; it's about everything else. It's about everything else. So it's 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 ridiculous. Yeah, even this after thing, right? So to 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 make it easier for mm -hmm. the commerce of goods mm -hmm. and people, mm -hmm. because not just the people, right? right? right. The goods. Mm -hmm. How you wanna? We wanna work together, but like you wanna take the Egyptian linen. From, that's still Africa. From yes, exactly. Africa. It should be easier. You know be. why? Why is it really so not. hard? It's really not. Even when I have to send things to Senegal, mm -hmm. it's expensive. DHL Senegal. because there's no. It's more expensive I can't send it. from here to Senegal than from here to London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you. It's, yeah, sure. it, it's really is. So it's it's it's, it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. It's a struggle because have a long way to go. we have a long way to go. <laughs> but you see, that's the thing. I don't hear the industry talk much about this. Because I feel like we talk, but there's nothing being... You know, when you talk so much and there's nothing being done, you just figure things out yourself and you get but it. But at back. least you keep going until eventually something is done about it. We but talked about it. We've t conferences have been to. It's been talked about. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's all talk. 
So how are we getting the momentum done? Because when I come back home, I'm thinking about how I'm going to sell and make my money, yes. meet my targets yeah, and everything, thanks. you know? So the people that are in the power to do it, yeah. they should be enforcing sure. it because you have been given roles and titles. You know, my role and title is creative director and founder, and I'm trying to poop, you yeah. know, because my community has to eat. Yeah. So when I come home, I'm not now coming to think about your job. You know, something that we sat and then you've asked me what my complaint is and I've told you now I have to come and, and do your job. No. That's the thing. So the, it's, yeah, it's... Sometimes it's, 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 conferences are... Well, not, not just conferences. I was looking more about, you know, individual and collective as well. I like that she's talking about it now. But even locally, I don't see the designers complain much about some of these things. It's like everybody's in their little corner doing their job. Yeah. making their money and that's it whatever I challenge they're facing yeah they i think that maybe we should also come together more because exactly. we don't yes i don't see everybody because everybody's it's, it's a when you're in, in the industry you feel it i feel it mm -hmm. you know um it's kind of like a thing yeah, yeah. which i, I, feel, I, I don't that. think should be yeah. because a united, united front, front we can't come that's more. when you your voice is even more heard mm -hmm. you know people pay more attention to your voice it's bigger yes, it's louder it is. yeah so like on paper we know that's what you we should be doing mm -hmm. but we don't do it we don't. yeah we don't. or if it's being done i don't know like you said i'm in my corner so but i don't now let's talk about being the leader of the team and the founder of the business mm -hmm. you know usually if you work for someone they set targets for you how are you able to set targets for do you even set targets for yourself yeah. and how are you able to ensure that you still meet those targets without getting complacent about the fact that well it's my business i can do it when i'm ready yeah when I, I when i started out yeah i used to do that i was like oh okay i'll take care of it later yeah. but i realized that i'm not just doing this i'm actually you have to do the business of fashion mm -hmm. and i do not come from a business background i've come from a nursing background nursing you know so what did i know about i just knew that oh i like this design if we yeah. sew it we do it like this it will look mm -hmm. nice we sell mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. but then now and i'm still learning yeah the business of fashion yeah because there's a whole it's not just cutting and sewing and you know taking photos and making it look good and everything yeah. there's actually a business so it's i a, ev business. every week i have a journal i put together my target my goals yeah. who should be done with what what i should be doing mm -hmm. um, i make time for when i have to be in the store when mm -hmm. i have to be at the workshop which yeah. the workshop takes most of my time and then days when i need to sit down and just do admin work yeah because that's something that yeah. or have to go through everything because i had somebody do admin work they messed it up so now i have to I do have it to you do know it myself I look at it and everything so sometimes it's tiring because like i said you yeah. micromanage everything mm -hmm. or you're doing yeah. everything and, and you still um, have to do that yeah, but you, you have to. You have to go. Even if the, the accountant checks everything, you have to it's now better, double check. You, you have because to. I had an accountant that, put, oh, yeah, wow. you, before you realize, where did the money go? They've locked it in some here. See, da, 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 every da, time yeah. I see the so, email from accountant, I'm like, you I'm have scared. to double check yeah. everything. Yeah. Yeah. Check. Mm -hmm. You have to double check everything. But, but are you not doing too much? And I'm just asking this because a lot of people say it's so difficult working for this person because she doesn't even give me the space. Mm -hmm to do what I have to do. She's always trying to micromanage me and that's why people leave. Um, growing up, I always said to myself, if you want something done, you have to do it yourself. Yeah, no. mm. And I did it for the longest time, but I realized that it was not benefiting me. Yeah. You know, I burn out easily. Burn out. Like right now, I'm like, vacation, when are we going on this vacation? Yeah, because, yeah. But you get burnt out easily mm. and because you can't do it all. Mm -hmm. So you have to delegate. Yeah. And I'm learning. To delegate I've, I've done i've done it's a that journey. It's Listen, a, like, yeah it's a journey so it i just need happen. to yeah i need to open up more that's me personally yeah. i need to mm -hmm. open up more to let people do stuff more so yeah yeah so who, who would you say is your accountability partner is it just you or you have someone who oh checks you? i have a friend phyllis oh my gosh she would call <laughs> <laughs> Hasanti, have you done she's this? like this and this can i see what is let me see what it's looking like this and this she's okay. my account she will okay. let okay. she she will let you know she does not play she does not play not that you're friends this and this no i didn't like this thing that you did the last time oh but then you know and it's good and constructive criticism okay. and sometimes i get it from my customers you know okay. the once in a while that i go i'm like okay i need feedback what do you think we mm -hmm. should be doing yeah. and it's 90 percent positive and yeah. constructive mm -hmm. but then like i know what they want what they are you know so it's it's interesting i i go and get it from my my clients sometimes because they will That's tell you good. they are the ones buying so yeah, they, so they uh, know better exactly and then they come and they tell you but then some of them i was gonna say how do you take 
you know, the feedback, whether good or bad. Because mm -hmm. some of them can be quite harsh. The some of them of can salt. be quite harsh, but I guess it's, you just take it with a pinch of salt. You take it and then. Hmm. Yeah. Do you go back to the drawing table to redesign when they give you back feedback then? Um, yes, I have a couple of times. There was actually, um, what was it? Hmm. There was actually uh, an outfit that we made mm -hmm. that we had to go back to the drawing board because um, a lot of the, we had to restructure it for plus sizes. So there was something, because some came in and they were like, no, this is not how we wanted it, this and this. So we had to restructure it for them and I think it worked out well. So. Yeah. Yeah. As long as it is, cons you know, constructed. Yeah, like I said, they are the ones buying the items. I can just see it and this is how I want it done yeah, and everything. But, but if they are right. buying it and they are wearing it, they want it a certain way. You have to listen yeah. to them. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. wherever you are, Phyllis, we thank you for checking Sandy. I put it on her toes. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. there's anything you've learned about mm -hmm. running a business mm -hmm. and being a leader, what would yeah. you be? I would say that it's, it's, it's a process you learn every day, mm -hmm. you know, you can't stop learning because you are the leader or whatever. Yeah. And then you also lead by listening to other people, letting, hearing feedback, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. don't be, oh, I'm on top of my game, you yeah. know, that you can't tell me nothing, this and this. No, I'm still learning from the yeah, people that I work with. Them. I'm still yeah. learning from my clients because yeah. then I think they help me grow. Mm -hmm. They are helping me grow the business. Some of them are stuck with us for the longest the time. Longest. So um, I think sometimes you take a step back, mm -hmm. reevaluate everything, and then you take it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, that's, that's good. So open-minded, you know, mm -hmm. about everything, learning, mm -hmm. and, and also what, what else? I'm trying to summarize what you said. Be open mind, learn, take feedback, yes. you know, yes. take a lot of feedback yes. because, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you shouldn't do as a business owner? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Having trust <laughs> issues. <laughs> that should be number one for me. <laughs> okay. That should be number one for me. But I think that one thing that you shouldn't do as a business owner is hmm, I have to think about that. Hmm. See, she threw it at me you like that. Don't micromanage, like, maybe. I love it. Don't micromanage too much. Well, that, Wait, that, that too. Them. That too, because you get burnt out yeah. definitely. Yeah, I have a lot of burnout. It's not um, helping you, and it's not also yeah. helping the person. It's exactly. Yeah. So that, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Trust issues, definitely. You, I mean, I have to be a little bit yeah. manageable. Yeah. But I'm sure there's something else. It's just not coming to me now. It, I can't articulate it. It will. It yeah. Will it will. Yeah. What about you, Victoria? Do you have any to share? Well, for what things not to do? I mean, it's everything I'm going through something. Yeah, so I mentioned you. about, you know, like the, the people thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, grooming and mm -hmm. training people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've, I've, I'm experiencing mm -hmm. it every day. <laughs> <laughs> and trust issues, yeah. you have them too? You no, know, I think I'm too trust. Uh, yeah, I trust people easily. Oh, okay. For me, it's the opposite. Yeah. Okay. For me, it's the opposite. I trust people quite mm -hmm. fast. Yeah. yeah. Because I like, I always say, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. You know, even if you have people coming and say, oh, this person, this, that, I want to experience it for myself. Even if I get burned, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to experience it for mm -hmm. myself, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, sometimes to, to a fault, you yeah. know. Uh, mm -hmm. But this is who I am. I, I can't, when I don't like it, I don't like it. I yeah. can't, you know. You can't pretend. <laughs> yeah. I guess, I mean, too much of everything is bad. Yeah. You yes. Know? So you yes. just have to have a good balance, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah, but I mean, so far, the people that I have, I'm working with, I'm very proud of them. Yeah. Uh, they give me headaches sometimes, <laughs> but I mean, they know I have their back and they have mine. Of so, course, yeah. Of mm -hmm. So, before we close, what can you tell us about Talency? What, what do you see for Talency in the next five, ten years? What's Ooh. next? If, if, you, if you can share. Yeah, I see Talency as being something that, one of the brands that every woman wants to go for. Yeah. And one of the brands that when you put on the outfits that you put on, you just feel light. Yeah. You know, you feel um, fun, you feel like you can Confident. take charge. Yeah. I just wanted to, uh, women to wear and feel powerful, mm -hmm. feel feminine, feel flirty, yeah. you know. And that's just, I you know, you put flirty. it on and you yeah. love it, you own it. and. Yeah. That's I mean, you've won talents. You've won talents. Yeah, yeah. Is it no, something? No, no, no. Honest opinion. Don't just say it because no, you're of here. Course. I've been saying it even before meeting you. Mm -hmm. You know, like talency for me is such. I love colors. Yeah. You know, and I love that's number one. I love the colorful side of the mm -hmm. brand, and of course, it's quality. You know, yeah, like exactly. I, I've had things from 
you know, the brand for mm -hmm. five years and right. I'm still wearing it and it still looks new. Yeah. You yeah. Know. So yeah. I love it. I really love it. I, I, I don't know what you expect me to say because I'm like one of the people who's always working <laughs> really? talent but, but I, I mean, we're, we're sustain well, I like things that are timeless. I have yeah. things that I made maybe in 2011. Um, yeah. My friend just says, still sends me pictures. Just I want this to work today, this oh, dress. Yeah. yeah. And nice. so we, I remember I did one when I, I, I did a 10 year later yeah. uh, post on the side yeah. And I, po I posted her yeah. picture, and then people kept sending their. Yeah. So I want timeless um, pieces, pieces yeah. that you that will transcend throughout time. Listen, me, yeah. I have a dress from Thailand. I was telling her earlier that dress. <laughs> I've taken it everywhere, from country to country. Yeah, yeah, so how many times? How many times? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but I know you have a new collection coming up yes, as well. Yes. I do. But the thing with us, we don't do collections. So oh. I, it's not like I don't necessarily do spring, summer, spring, summer this. Yeah. Because we oh. don't, you know, we, yeah, when you go to Dubai, they don't have spring, summer. They, yeah. Because it's just one yeah. climate. So they have yeah. it. We just do drops. When we, okay. do, we just drop you it. Something when you drop something, we so drop you don't have specific it. dates when you tell yourself no, a piece. So in a year, I'm going to do four I used drops. to try and conform to that, but now I don't want to. Yeah. So when it drops, when the time comes and we have to go back into that space, we will. But for now, yeah. we're just doing that. Yes. And the drop can be exciting too. Yeah. Oh, Tennessee just dropped a new, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So yeah. what, when is the new drop? Tomorrow it's coming oh, out. Oh, wow. Yes. Check it out, guys. Talency is dropping something. <laughs> well, that means that by the time you're watching this, you probably see me rocking some of the new ones. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to say it. Exactly. Because I said it, and I felt so beautiful wearing it. I was like, I you know, know I'm I definitely know. getting these ones. So yeah. I love them. Where can we buy Talency? In Ghana? On in the Ghana, website? you can come to the store. The flagship oh. store is in number 20 Koi Street. Uh, okay. That's in Yanaba Estate, or Usu, I should say. It's yeah. like a cross between the two. Mm -hmm. And you can also get it, if you're in Senegal, you can get it from Sassy Street, Sassy or if you're in Ivory Coast, you My can get it from Cooler Concept. Cooler Concept. And well. you can get it online, www.talency.com. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me, guys. And yeah, your skincare routine, which is reminding me about Yes, I was telling her, I have and this and I have this. Oh, oh, you yes. using yes. it? Yes. Yes. Since last year, I think. I, no, two years. Two years? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, sorry. More than COVID. COVID happened and now, if it's last year, I say two years. Sorry. It's, it's true. So because I still think 20, 2008 was 10 years. So it's, I mean, we are 24, so at yeah. least two years. Yeah. Definitely yeah. more than yeah. a year. So I'm about? almost done with it, so I have to come and re uh, yeah. get restocked. So which one is your favorite from I like two? this, mm -hmm. so I oil up at night. Exactly. You do? Yeah, you and I, I feel like when I wake up in the morning, my skin is more mm -hmm. fresh and more yeah. glowy. Definitely. So, at yeah. night is the best time to mm -hmm. leave. I think I go heavy on my skincare at night. At night, yeah. I, yeah. Sometimes yeah. my husband looks at me and says, why you? I apply all. Too much, yeah. Too, yeah. Too much yeah. Going on. Sometimes I look at my and I'm like, um, what's going on? Yeah. I'm telling you something. So this is going to be, this is my new favorite now, and I'll tell you why. So hey, I use this. Tenjo. No, because I, this was always my favorite. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. I use this to wipe the makeup off my face. Yes. But it has an oil base. Yes. yes. So even when you wash your face, and you don't moisturize wash almost really, yeah. it doesn't dry up. Yeah. Doesn't and that's dry. something I noticed. Mm -hmm. And I said I was going to tell you about it. Yeah. yeah. So I love it. I like telling me now. But I telling me. But I hope I'm doing it right because I spray it all over and then I then I put the and then it's swab. Yeah. Yeah. So, so wait, how do I do it? <laughs> spray it into your cotton cotton yeah, pad. Really that is a spray on my face straight. Oh wow. See, that's, that's, what I've that's been the funny thing see. about the cleanser. You can use it in different different ways. Yeah. Okay. You know, that's one way. Mm -hmm. Another way is the cotton pad. Yeah. Okay. You spray onto the cotton uh -huh. pad and boom boom boom. Yeah. What, we, what I do is I use a face, a proper face towel. Oh, okay. I put, because me, I want to go deep. Yeah. So I put a little water on it. Okay. And then I take so it, it and I mix it with this. Okay. And so I, I feel like that. it goes deeper. Hmm, I'll try that. Yeah. Well, skin therapists will tell you that don't use face towel too much on your face. Because it's going to be wear and tear on your skin. Oh, really? Wait, I didn't know that. There's different. Wait, the face towel. Regular yeah. towel. The regular yeah, the, towel. The cotton one. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay. Cotton. Well, in Ghana, when you say face towel, <laughs> no, my please. French darling, please. face towel please. is please. the actual please. towel. Please. But it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> we are civilized. Face towel, proper. You know the square one. Which square one? Yeah, you have. Well, is it a towel? Towel. Yeah, one. a towel. But like, uh, you have. No, the that's one that's like just for face. That one for face. Yeah. Okay. It's for face. So it's very smooth. It's not smooth. It's not like we're going to her home to go and check which face towel she's talking about. <laughs> I'll bring it the next show. I'll bring it yes, so yes, you to see. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, so yes. you can use it in different ways and it yes. works. Or you can add it to the bundle, the ta the face towels. I think yes. you should add it yeah. to the bundle. Yeah, why be, not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's true. It'll be just on something extra that you, you when you buy all yeah, three, for the you get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the idea. Yeah, that was us, guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>